this is amazing. I guess you get six months down the road if he's still uh, enjoying this valuation, he sells the stock, he actually will have a heck of a lot of money. In the meantime, he has spent all of his cash on lawyers. Right. And so what we're seeing right now is even though he's grown in, in his personal wealth, you know, he's still his campaign is still strapped for cash. Uh -huh. uh, and when compared to Biden and the DNC, they have a third of what their war chest is. And so right now, Donald Trump and his team's main focus really has been growing their fundraising apparatus, mm -hmm. making sure that they have the money to continue uh, putting out advertisements, hosting rallies. All of these things cost money. Sure. And in an election like this, where it really comes down to who turns out, all of this matters. I thought you might tell me that, no, Joe, it's more complicated than that. But this really comes down to a matter of legal bills, paying attorneys, and his trial, his criminal trial, hasn't even begun yet. So this is about to get to be a lot more difficult. Right. And so not only is he taken off the trail, because now he has to focus on his his court appearances. Yeah. You know, now he has less fun funding to use for, you know, these get out to vote operations mm -hmm. or reaching voters where they are. Sure. We've learned the rallies are really expensive, right? Chris Lasavita, I think, is the one who said these are like a million dollars a pop. These are these are like big shows when you're hosting tens of thousands of people. And that's his ace in the hole, right? That's Donald Trump's most powerful, really, when you think of a way to reach voters, to get people worked up to support the cause, to talk to the base. If he can't do the rallies, what does he have? Well, I guess what he's been doing more and more these days is just doing gaggles with reporters outside of courthouses. Well, that's or, true. Or, you know, uh, bringing some reporters along as he votes and casts his ballot in the yeah. Florida uh, primary election. So he's finding these different sort of events to continue to put his name out there, to Maybe get his face on TV. Them, and, you know? It's I not think, like he's fighting for name recognition. Right. And that's a good point that a lot of strategists bring up. You know, this isn't the 2016 election anymore. This yeah. isn't 2020. People know who he is. People know what he's offering and so these the really grand rallies that he used to host mm -hmm. don't necessarily have the same appeal there's a thought that uh, there could be a vote to bring forth bring up I should say the lockup period on this DJT stock uh, uh, will Devin Nunes and others agree to that and allow Donald Trump to sell these shares earlier I think it's too soon to say um, but you know whether or not he is able to do that does throw him another lifeline yeah. right uh, whether or not he can use this funding that he now has uh, can really determine whether or not he gets out of these legal cases without having to sell some of his property. Sure, including paying bond in this civil trial. What's your thought on this today? They, they brought this down by more than two-thirds earlier this week, $175 million. Still a lot of money, but a far cry from what it was. We actually still don't know. I know he's said some things, but we don't know if he has the money to pay that, right? Yeah, so earlier this week, or it might have been last week, he mentioned on True Social that he yeah. has the $500 million right. to pay it off. Uh, whether or not that is true, you know, we can't quite verify it independently. Mm -hmm. um, but 175 is significantly less, as you mentioned, than the 454 that he was originally, um, you know, held accountable to, to paying. Uh, mm -hmm. I think one thing that is worth noting is that even though it has been lowered, he still could have to pay that up the 454 million plus interest should this verdict in you know. terms of the actual penalty right so in that world between one of these two Letitia James is sitting down with a map of New York looking at properties which ones are we going to seize <laughs> uh and, and the argument is that you just made life easier for Donald Trump that this fulfills the idea of the weaponization of government Look at them now. The top line in your story, keep your hands off Trump Tower. He knows the power of that message. Could Letitia James hand this all back to him politically? Potentially. And, you know, what he's been doing really well uh, to his campaign's point is taking every opportunity he can get to bring back that political message, to remind his voters that, you know, whatever is happening to him right now is, as he says, an unfair overreach of the Biden administration. Yeah, exactly. Even though we're talking about a state court in both of these cases, right? This is Alvin Bragg's trial, although I guess that's a little bit different. Letitia James is in New York. The Georgia case that he refers to is a state uh, trial. We'll see how this goes.